What's up guys, Yannick Reed here and welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm a visual creative from Kingston, Jamaica and on this channel we try to talk about tech, creativity and lifestyle focusing on photography and videography. So if that sounds good to you, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button for more content. Have you ever used an editing app on your phone and felt clueless? Dragging sliders around but you're not really sure what they do? Don't worry, nobody has to know. In this video, I'm gonna show you what every single tool does in the free photo editing app called ViscoCam. Most importantly, I'm gonna break it down in layman terms, so let's go. So the app that we're using today is ViscoCam, a great photo editor that's available for both Android and iPhone. And is a great photo editor with great filters and great tools. And I have a link to both versions down in the description so everyone can play. All right, so get comfortable for this video because we're gonna be going through each tool. It may take a while, but I can guarantee by the end of this video, you'll have a better grasp of not just Visco, but many other photo apps because the tools in Visco operate a lot like the tools seen in many other photo editing apps. When you open up a photo in the edit tab in Visco, you'll land in the preset tab. Visco has a bunch of presets for free and it's simply a matter of tapping through all the presets until you find one that you really like. Presets are really just a starting point for your image. Then you'll move on to really fine tuning it to your liking. At any point while in the app, you can hold down on the screen to get a peek at your original image right before your edits to see how your current edits are affecting it. All right, let's get into the tools. Exposure, commonly known as brightness in other apps, and that is what it affects. Sliding this up or down will make your image brighter or darker, but in photography, we say it affects the exposure. Something to note as well is that exposure affects contrast and saturation in subtle ways, but we'll touch on that later in this video. Contrast. A good way to kind of explain contrast is like the distance between the brightest colors and the darkest colors and everything in between. A low contrast image looks flat and muted and nothing in the image looks too bright or too dark. While a high contrast image has really bright bright and really dark darks. Adjust. So in Visco, Adjust contains a multitude of tools. Crop and straighten allows you to remove outer parts of the image using a smaller frame. Layman may say by zooming in. The slider below allows you to carefully rotate your image, also while cropping it a little bit too. We do this oftentimes when we're looking to straighten out an image that's a little off axis or crooked. And next to the slider is the flip button, which allows us to rotate the image 90 degrees, just in case you took your image in like the wrong orientation. Below you'll see some icons that reflect common cropped ratios used in photography and social media. And you can tap on them to see how that crop will affect your image. As well as you can move around your image to get an idea of the framing. Cropping can be a really powerful tool that helps to let your audience know what they should be focusing on. Just bear in mind that cropping reduces your image quality just a little bit. Think about actually cutting a piece of paper and losing surface area. All right, so under the skew tab now, there may be times where you take an image where you weren't really at like the right angle. So these two sliders help to fix your perspective a bit, just to sort out a slightly off image using perspective, you get me? Okay, sharpen. So sharpen looks at all of the edges in your image and intelligently finds them and raises the contrast of just the images just to make the image pop a bit more. Clarity. You know, it feels really similar to sharpen, but what it does is it intelligently looks in the areas of your photos that have the least contrast and just boosts up those parts as opposed to the regular contrast tool that applies contrast equally to all of the image. 
both sharpen and clarity are sliders that you should use very gently in my opinion it can be really tempting to push these sliders all the way up high at first but they tend to alter the image in a noticeably unrealistic way that screams amateur <laughs> so just go and use these with as much restraint as possible saturation this slider affects the intensity of all the colors in the image pushing it up will make all the colors more vivid and more intense while pushing it down will mute the colors and make them more subdued in most apps bringing the saturation slider all the way down will result in a black and white image but visco tries to prevent you from accidentally doing that i will protect some of your most vivid colors from losing saturation completely talking about tone inside the tone tab we have two tools we have highlights and shadows which can work in like slightly different ways depending on if you use other app but in visco the highlights and shadow tab starts at zero moving the highlights tab up will make the brighter parts of your images known as your highlights it will make them more subdued and the shadow slider will take the darker parts of your images referred to as your shadows and when you pull them up will lift them in a sense make them kind of like more bright or noticeable it's kind of like contrast but it's giving you more precise control over a specific tonal range in your image and more control is usually a good thing when you're trying to get your image just 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 right white balance white balance has two sliders temperature and tint temperature controls the images color balance between blue and yellow sometimes seen as orange so orange slash yellow if an image feels too warm you can slide it towards the blue to neutralize it and if an image feels too cold you can slide it towards the warm colors to neutralize it the same applies to the tint as one side leads towards green and the other side leads towards magenta so just like in temperature you can use them to neutralize any color cast you can also use these tools stylistically to add a tone or feel to your images skin tone got it Tone. Anyway. now this is a funny little slider so this tool tries to look at your image and identify skin tones which is a certain range meant to include tones from people with light skin from people with dark skin and usually the range falls at between the yellows the oranges and the browns this slider tries to target and pinpoint those skin tones and on one side you can add or push your image more to magenta and on the other side when you slide it over it pushes those skin tones more to orange so this tool can really help you to fix skin tones in an image if you got it wrong or there's like a weird color cast on the skin tone but truth be told this tool is kind of hit or miss we have vignette the funny worded tool this tool just adds what's called a vignette to your images a vignette is really just the gradual darkening of the edges of your images in kind of a circular formation and the more you push the slider is the darker the vignette gets vignettes help to direct your viewers eye to the center of the image play around with it but use it kind of sparingly because truth be told it shouldn't be very obvious green this tool tries to simulate and add film grain to your images and the slider just controls the intensity fade this tool adds kind of like a grayish overlay to your image to give it kind of a matte look another common look in film and as before the slider controls the intensity split tone the split tone tool is divided into two parts one part controlling the highlights and one point controlling the shadows and under both tabs you'll see a range of different colors and what this tool allows you to do is add a tint of color either to your highlights or your shadows and the slider just controls the intensity this can make for some really interesting images also you want to use it sparingly because when this is overdone 
it screams amateur. These next two tools are in Visco Premium. And I'll just show you so you know what they do just in case you're interested. But I'm still trying to keep it short and free. <laughs> border. It adds a border of your choice around your image. But truth be told, there's many other apps that are free that can do what this tool does. HSL, the extremely rushed explanation. This tool allows you to control the brightness and intensity of each color selectively within the image. It also allows you to change the color of select images to other colors. And as rudimentary of an explanation this is, this tool is extremely powerful and it gives you great control over your image. If you have access to a Visco Premium trial, I would recommend giving it a go and testing out the HSL tool. And that is every tool in Visco Explained. I hope this video helped you understand how each tool works. I know you can make use of Visco, but more importantly, the many other apps that share so many features with Visco. The way the tools work here is very similar to other photo editing apps, whether it may be Snapseed or Lightroom or Afterlight or just many of the other apps. If you gain some value from this video, please share it with someone who's interested in photography or photo editing, as well as hit the like button to help out the channel. I appreciate you. Also, if there's any tool that I went over in this video that you still don't feel clear about, just make a note in the comment section and I'll help to break it down further if you need me to. What other apps are you guys curious about learning about or what other aspects of photography are you guys interested in learning about? Also include those in the comments below. Before you go though, make sure to check the description. What I've done is I've left some links to some photo and video tutorials that I've done in the past that I feel could probably help you with some things if you've never seen them before. Well, you don't know, thank you for spending the time with me. I appreciate it, I appreciate you. You don't know, continue to keep safe, behave yourself, and continue to bless up yourself.